Okay, everyone, so today I'm going to be supercharging my dad's beloved 1979 FJ40 Toyota Land Cruiser. Let's get started. So it's been my dad's dream to supercharge a vehicle. A while back, he used to have an old Land Cruiser just like this one, and he really missed it, so he found the 79 FJ40 over in Western Kentucky, and over the past few years, him and I have been restoring it and just bringing this thing back to life. So on eBay, my dad found this Paxton Novi 1000 supercharger. This is the smallest Novi series supercharger that Paxton makes, and it can make up to 10 PSI. But with this motor being from 1979 and being just an NA motor, we'll just run around five PSI and put some bigger jets in the car. This is more gonna be on the novelty side rather than making more power. It'll just be super cool to pop the hood and say that this Land Cruiser is supercharged. Another reason we are doing this supercharger is because this motor is already set up with a dual pulley system. So originally these two pulleys were meant for a smog pump that sat down here by the crank pulley. Basically that pump would run and it would puff air into each of the cylinders so the emissions would be cleaner out of the exhaust. Obviously we tore all that off and we put this header, this Weber carburetor, and an HEI distributor on it to just freshen up and give it a little bit more power. So as you can see, the smog mount is still sitting here next to one of the motor mounts. I would like to take advantage of this mount and use it for the supercharger. So my idea is to have the supercharger sit just like this in the engine bay. So the first thing I'm going to do is use some CAD modeling, some cardboard aided design, and I'm going to trace up a mount for the supercharger so then I can trace it over to steel and cut that out later. <laughs> up the internet trying to find a v-groove pulley that is seven eighths of an inch with two keyways but i'm really not having luck finding anything so i'm actually going to have my friend's dad make us a pulley so i've written down the specs of what the pulley needs to be like my dad and i are going to run to town and get a four by four inch block of aluminum and he's going to put it into one of his cnc machines and he's going to make us a custom pulley and as you can see i did make a new mount out of mdf just to make sure when i make one out of steel it'll fit up perfect So on the way back from the metal store, we stopped by my friend's dad's metal shop, Kenny's Pulling Parts. We gave him that block of aluminum and he put it onto one of his CNC machines and he made us the 7 8 inch drive V-belt pulley. This is a 4 inch pulley so it should work great with our 6 inch pulley that's on our crank. So now that we have a way to drive this supercharger, I need a way to mount it. I'm going to take this piece off, I'm going to trace it on a piece of steel, and then we'll cut it out with a plasma cutter, and we'll be ready to weld it onto the steel tube, then to mount on the old smog pump mount that's from the engine.
And so I just got the piece cut out on the plasma cutter and then I took the flat disc and I rounded all the edges and took out all the rough spots that the plasma cutter made. So now that I have the shape cut out, I need to drill the holes to mount the supercharger and then also put the tube on the end so it can pivot on the motor mount. So let's go drill these. So now I have the holes drilled and the mount bolted up to the supercharger. So I have some of this thick walled three quarter inch tubing. This is going to ride right in between this mount that used to go on the old smog pump. Then I'll drill a three quarter inch hole in the bottom of this bracket and I'll weld this tube right where I drilled the hole. That way the supercharger can pivot and I can loosen and tighten the belt. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off these two mounts that are on the intake because they're gonna be in the way of the air cleaner that is on the supercharger. I'm just gonna cut them off and then smooth them out and then we can mount the supercharger onto its bracket. Okay everyone, so now that I have these two mounts cut off, I went ahead and put the supercharger in here and it bolts perfectly to the smog pump mount. Right now what I'm doing is tapping it with a hammer back and forth to try to get this belt alignment perfect. Then I'll take it back out and I'll go and weld that tube to the bracket. Charger bolted up to the smog pump mount. So now I need to figure out a way that I can tension the belt and lock the supercharger in position. So there's a lot more mounting brackets on the supercharger that are already threaded, and I'd like to use some that are on the bottom. I just went through the shop and I found this piece of angle iron. It's got tons of adjustments and oval holes. I can use one for the motor and one for the supercharger, and it'll allow me to tension and loosen the belt. So let's go cut this up and let's figure out a place to bolt it on. everyone so I went ahead and bolted up this bracket I didn't film because it's really hard to get in there with a camera but anyways one of the bolts bolts through the slot and into the engine block and the other bolts onto one of these tabs on the supercharger that are already pre-threaded so as you can see the supercharger has quite a bit of movement back and forth to tighten the belt so now that I have the supercharger mounted and a way to tighten the belt I need to take some paracord and I need to measure how long we need a belt to be and I'll run down to the auto parts and get a belt <laughs> So after a few runs to the auto parts store, I finally found a belt that fits the supercharger. I can go ahead and pull the supercharger back off and I'm going to make a gusset for my bracket to get rid of the last bit of flex in my bracket.
cleaned off all the slag off of the gusset. Now I'm going to run two nice strong beads with the welder on each side just to secure this thing and make this bracket super strong. So now I got this thing welded and then I just took the flap disc and I just cleaned up the splatter that the welder made. So now I'm going to bolt it back up to the supercharger and put it on the Land Cruiser and make sure everything fits. And if it does, I'll take it all apart and I'll give this thing a nice layer of paint. Alright, so I have the supercharger bolted in and it looks like the belt's going to line up. So I'll fire it up and we'll see if we're making boost. Then I'll take it apart and paint the bracket. finish up the coats on the tensioner and the bracket so that will be the end of this video in the next video i'll have everything bolted up and we'll get the bonnet for the carb we'll use some silicone to pipe the supercharger to the carburetor and we will do some jetting to get this land cruiser to run awesome stay tuned to this next part when we actually run boost in this motor <laughs>